Yo, what's up, Weeb? How's it going, man? Oh, you know what? I never changed my Twitch title and shit, did I? What's up, Luigi? How's it going here? I'm, uh... I might not have changed my Twitch uh, notification thing or not. I don't know. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. Doesn't matter that much. Alright, let's start the shit up. Yo, what's up, Swivel? How's it going? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> this game, this game's gonna take forever, though. It's a very long game. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the follow earlier, Swivel. I appreciate it. Yo, nice. We fit works nice. That's awesome. Congrats on that. It's good to hear that it works. Is this the game from Scott the Waz? I have no idea if Scott the Waz has played this, unfortunately. I, un I like. Scott the Waz is one of those few YouTubers I sadly have never watched a YouTube video of. I should though, because a lot of people like his videos. Um, but yeah. Nice. You talked about it? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, um... I have not watched Scott the Waz's video on this, no. I wouldn't be surprised if it's pretty similar to how I felt at the beginning of playing the game, though, which was not super positive. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, that one hooked a bit more than I wanted. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Not a huge deal. We're in the Intermediate League right now, and we have to only maintain, like, an average of 209 or something. And, uh, I think our average is a good, like, 220-something at the moment, so not a huge deal. But once we get to the next league, though, everything is just way... Like, we're going to be restarting matches way more. It's going to be really dumb because the average goes up. The average we have to have for the next league is, like, 249, which is stupid as shit. Like, that's so ridiculously high. I mean, you know, if you're a pro bowler, I guess that would kind of make sense, but still, that's really fucking high. It's a really tough score. And that's like on average, so I'd have, I have to reset basically each game and keep my average up for that. Thankfully, I think that's about as hard as the game gets, though. There's another league after uh, the third league. We're on the second league right now. But the third league is pretty much as hard as it gets, because um, the next league after that, the average we have to maintain is like 250 instead of 249. So it's not going to be too bad. Um, the only thing about the last league is that there are like a bunch of different patterns for oil, like a whole bit, bunch of different oil patterns. So. Yeah, I'll probably need to, I'll probably need to find other ways to get strikes on different oil patterns, pretty much. 
It'll be a lot of fucking around. <laughs> is this a speed run? No, this is this is a playthrough. This is just a casual playthrough trying to beat the game. Speedrunning this game would take for goddamn ever. It would take so long, even if you were playing like perfectly. It just takes a really long time. That was super lucky. Nice. That was an incredibly lucky strike there. Sorry, my hair might look like shit. I, uh... Usually I prefer to, like, shower and then do my hair up and then stream, but I showered, like, last night and then woke up and had to do things and then I have to... I showered pretty late though, so it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> my hair just always looks like shit if I go to sleep though. Like, it's just inevitable. It, it might not look like super bad right now, but it's just, yeah. Impossible to make it look decent. confused by the timer oh yeah so the timer is for how long we've been playing the game <clears throat> the top timer anyway what's up by the way scary fingers hope you're well dude it's good to see you dang it that one hooked a lot yeah that's awful <laughs> god damn it uh Ah, oh, that's terrible. Man. What's up, Furt Luck? Hope you're well as well. Hope everyone is doing well today. Okay, if we get like a bunch of strikes here, we can still get our score to a decent one. Uh, let's try going a little more left. Nice. Super Mario Galaxy is a ton of fun. <clears throat> it looks like a ton of fun anyway. I still haven't played it, but I, I've seen a, I've seen a good amount of speedruns of it. So, so yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's just so many games that it would take so long to speedrun the whole entire game. The uh, You just have to play, like, you play probably around more than 300 games of bowling in the entire game. And that's not, like, if you're not even including having to redo matches. <clears throat> There's just, you just have to play so many. Like, if you, if you play perfectly, you can skip a decent amount of them. Like, if you played 300s throughout the whole entire game, you can definitely skip a couple of matches, and that won't totally ruin your average to the point where you can't continue. But the only thing about skipping games is it totally fucks your reputation, so you'd have to have, like, a decent balance between that and... Keeping your reputation up, and uh, and then yeah, also just coincidentally bowling perfect the entire game. It'd be kind of neat to see a TAS of this game. Oh, did they? That's pretty awesome. I didn't know that they've uh, updated their homepage. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Um, I was wondering if they would at, a, at any point since uh, Flash died. <clears throat> okay. 
That was super lucky. You kind of want there to be one. Yeah, I mean, like, if you were going to speedrun the game, you could probably do the first league or two in one sitting without too much hassle. It's just there's so many games, that's the thing. You, it just takes literally so long to get through. Even if you were able to bowl completely perfectly. And even if you were playing the other versions of the games, like, you can play... There's a PlayStation version of this game, I think I like a PlayStation 2 version, I'm pretty sure. There's a PSP version of the game, like, there's a couple versions of the game that don't require motion controls either. So it's like, you just have to get good at setting up the perfect strikes. And the, and the thing about that too is like, I'm pretty sure there's a decent amount of luck. Like, there's some, a little bit of luck involved with like, the physics of the pins and, uh, <laughs> and also like the stats like you have stats your character has stats that he starts with that are totally shit <laughs> and um, And I think that just adds on to the randomness of how your shot goes You hook pretty much a lot, for sure. Part of the reason why I think I was hooking quite too much was, like, also... I just wasn't bowling the right way. I was doing too many throws that were, like, full power, pretty much. I was doing, like, really fast, almost careless swings. And this game is, like... You have to be a lot more, I guess, technical. Not really even that much more technical. You just don't swing the fucking Wii Remote like crazy. That was kind of my problem at the beginning. Like, I think if you... the thing, Like, again, most of the reason why I did that, though, is because this game... Like, this game makes no effort whatsoever to tell you how to do any... Like, all, anything in the game. Like, it'll tell you, here's the controls. You know, it doesn't tell you how to time anything right. It doesn't tell you how how hooking your ball works doesn't tell you anything it's pretty great so yeah sometimes I take a while to like figure out how to actually play a game like figure out the mechanics and stuff but yeah it's pretty painful I think part of it is also the stats though like I think I think one thing that I noticed for sure is earlier on my guy would drop the ball like way further right or to the left at the very beginning of the shot for like no reason sometimes. And I don't think that happens anymore. I haven't seen that happen in a very long time. Nice. I think that's yeah, a six pack. Let's go. Casual six pack. Yo, Weeb, thank you for the bit. I appreciate the support, dude. Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh yeah, dude, no, it's rough. This game is... This game is rough. <laughs> I think... Yeah, if, like... If people made sure... Ah, uh, dude, that would have been so nice if I got another strike there. Uh, if people... Make sure to bowl kind of like this, where uh, you completely ignore the animation on screen, and you try to bowl kind of like you would normally bowl in real life, at least the arm movements and stuff. And you try to bowl low enough so you're actually like setting the ball down kind of low. And it's, it's just not super intuitive, and again, the game doesn't tell you how to do it at all, so it's pretty hilarious. It's just a not, it's not intuitive, in my opinion, not very intuitive for what you would expect of a Wii game, I guess. <clears throat> like, not everybody, whenever they pick up a game like this, are gonna think, oh, I should try and bowl kind of like, maybe, Wii Sports or something. But I bet you that's how 90% of the people are gonna pick it up and try to play it first. So it probably would help at least to make some type of tutorial. <laughs> Just something, and especially with how the hooking works, 
I think they just did not want to bother. They're just like, nah, dude. We're not even gonna try. I feel like if... Like, the thing is, when you play the games, the versions of the game with... Uh, where you only play with buttons and stuff, there's like an actual meter of like, when you start your swing, you, you can see there, there's an animation where it like pans to the side of your character and you can choose how much you want to swing back and how much you want to like do some other shit. Like it's a percentage and you just have to time your button presses right. And for this, you just figure it out. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like if you just, if you knew how the mechanics worked in the button versions of the game, maybe it would be a little more It'd be a little easier to pick this game up, but, yeah. It's really not great uh, to just pick up and hope to figure out, I guess, in my opinion. And it's super long. It's just super long, so. Even if you do know how to play the game, you have to get really good, and then... And then, yeah. And I'm save scumming, so, like, it would take me way, way longer. At least, like, I think I could get through the first two leagues without too much hassle, but staying, like, getting onto the next league and keeping an average of 249 would be pretty much impossible for me without save scumming. <laughs> but thankfully, we have that option. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how, I'm not exactly sure how the Pro League works, because that's, like, all tournaments. It's just tournament after tournament after tournament. And, um, and pretty much, like, I, I don't know if you have to start, like, you have to keep an average of 250, but I don't know if that's for, like, if you have to start off the very first game getting 250 plus or what. I don't know. Either way, if you if you don't get the averages that they want, though, uh, like at least for pro, pro league, you just get sent back to advanced league. I'm pretty sure, and whatnot. So we're just like once we get to advanced league, we're just gonna be bowling for like two fifties, just so much. Like advanced league, we won't have to uh, reset as much, thankfully, because we only have to keep. I think we have to keep the average of 249 for just the whole entire season. So once we get a good amount of 250 plus games, it won't be as hard to keep it up. But I'm pretty sure once we get to Pro League, though, yeah, it's just going to be... It's going to take me a really long time to get through Pro League, for sure. And not begin to describe how annoying that's going to be. I can definitely bowl above 250 if I do it, if I, like, do it well enough, but it's going to be kind of annoying. It's mo like, I mean, now, it, kind of how it is now, it's going to be mostly just kind of luck, but, yeah. I might also look into buying some more bowling balls at some point because I can definitely buy some heavier balls and that would help a bit. But I would have to. I would definitely have to find swings that work. That's mostly the problem with switching uh, equipment or having different oil patterns come up is you just have to like. Just have to find a new strat for striking and that's like it. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the whole game. So you're gonna do it again? I don't know if I have made too many. Because I'm gonna do it again. I swear to God. Yo, nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, if it if it gets too difficult for me to keep up the 249 average uh, or the 250 average, then uh, I'll probably try fucking around with like messing around with other heavier uh, sets of balls. <laughs> What's up, Skyward? Um, so, if you played the game perfectly, if you were gonna speedrun this game, uh, well, so like, if you if you say like didn't skip any games at all, I mean, there's like three hundred plus games of bowling you have to do. So, like, I don't know how long it would take, especially because the amount of it would entirely also depend on. Like, even if you bowled really well, the there's still a ton of luck involved in how well the computers bowl. So, um, because if they take more than, like, if they don't bowl perfectly, then that's going to take longer. So, yeah, but, uh... But if you do bowl perfectly, I'm pretty sure you can skip a good couple of games, uh without having to worry about your average totally tanking. Uh, or at least tanking too much to the point where you can't recover it. Uh, uh, so, I don't know, the thing is, you'd still be playing like at least probably like 250 games of bowling. And you'd have to bowl all of that perfect. So, it would really depend on how fast you can set up your shots and um, And you would just have to know how to get perfect shots consistently for every single instance. Which I don't even I don't even think if you have the same oil pattern, uh, and if you're using all the same equipment, same stats and everything, um I'm pretty sure it still is like a little bit luck based on how like how your shot uh plays out. Sexy bowling balls. <laughs> okay. Man, we keep getting spares. Yeah, I don't... We can pull this back, but we're gonna need a lot of strikes here at the end. I don't even think this is gonna hit that. Okay, it did. Yay! Yeah, and like in, you can skip a lot more at the beginning, uh, at the first few leagues, like the beginner league and intermediate league. But um, you could probably only skip a handful of matches for advanced league, and then once you get to pro league, you can't skip any at all. Not that it really matters that much, because unless you're playing perfectly. There's not really a ton of reason to even skip matches unless you want to forfeit the entire... Uh, let's see, do I even want to take this? What is my score going to be? We'll see what the score turns out to be here. 194. Yeah, that's fine. It means your character is fatigued. <laughs> it means they're tired. Okay. Let's see what our average is now. 221. It's like, I think exactly the same as it was when we started that. Nice. Okay, let's go. I don't know exactly. Um, the game doesn't tell you really. There's nothing in the instruction manual or anything that tells you. I imagine you bowl worse though.
Like it does. Like there's nothing that explicitly says the, uh, exactly what fatigue does. I'm pretty sure. Man, I need to bowl better. I think pretty much like your as far as I know it has something to either do I think it has to do with your stamina stat or your like that and your arm strength stat so I think if your arm strength and your stamina is higher you don't get fatigued as early on in the uh, tournaments or leagues or whatever Yeah, basically. But yeah, as, as far as like what the game tells you, you have the instruction manual and you have those tips that it gives you about the oil patterns, like whenever you start each game and that's it. That's all the game tells you. That's all it tells you the entire game. <laughs> It tells you that, and then when you start a new league, it tells you how much you have to score to move on to the next league, basically. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, I, uh, I don't remember if... I don't think the manual says exactly what, f like, being fatigued exactly really means. It pretty much just, I think, implies that you're going to be bowling worse or that you maybe won't throw the ball as hard or something. Or won't throw it as, uh, yeah, won't throw it as hard or something. I don't know. Getting some lucky strikes up in here, though. It's nice. I don't think it really changes that much though. I don't really think I bowl that much worse when I am fatigued. So, I don't I don't know. I, it it probably makes it so that you don't have as much strength to your throw or something. Maybe you end up hooking your balls more. I've honestly again, it just doesn't nothing nothing tells you really exactly what's going on. You just, you just kind of have to go with it. You can get this game on mobile. You can get this game on, like, there's a couple of different versions of games that are called Brunswick Pro Bowling. I'm pretty sure you can get this game on, like, PS4, which is pretty hilarious. Even though it's not, I don't think it's quite the same game, though. Nice, that was super lucky. Yeah, if there was, like, the thing is, I don't know for sure if I'm doing everything as optimally as I could. Like, there might be some way, like, there might be some glitches or there might be some ways you can go through different leagues. Like, maybe if you bowl well enough at the first few leagues, if you're, maybe if your average is high enough, it might just let you skip parts of the game. I don't know. 
I really have no clue because I've never, never been like, I wasn't bowling like 249 average at the beginning or anything. So I kind of doubt that that would be the case though. Pretty sure this game's just long as shit because they wanted it to be wanted it to be really long, which is fine. I mean, to be fair, probably most devs of a lot of games would want people to dang it, I'm stupid. Uh, would want people to play their games as for a decent amount of time or enjoy it as long as they can. So I think there kind of is. The thing about it is, is it's not very, like, it's really, really touchy. I think it kind of has to do with, like, how you swing up and also how you swing back. Like, if I swing back and it's not totally straight, I think that can sometimes get the ball to hook. But, yeah, like, again, again, nothing tells you, nothing in the game tells you whatsoever how to do hooks at all. Um, but yeah, but like, so if I do like full swings like this though, and that's kind of why I was getting tons of really hard hooks at the beginning of the game, is if I just bowl like this, then it will put full hook to the left, and, um, and I think if you were like lefty, it would put full hook to the right, so I think it just has to do with like probably a combination of like how you swing up and how hard you swing and a bunch of other shit. I think letting go of your B button at certain times also makes shit happen. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's unfortunately kind of I don't know. The game just doesn't help you at all. And to be fair, I don't need the game's help. The game can fuck itself. I don't need its help. It sucks. 266. That's a high score. Let's go. That is definitely the highest score I've gotten so far. By like two points. <laughs> Yay. Um, what's up, JD? Uh, so they, it, it kind of just is random. They'll just randomly score pretty well or pretty shit. Like, even in the pro league, as far as I'm aware, they will still score as low as, like, below 200. Um, but they bowl like this, like, they bowl, like, pretty much this well the entire game, too. Like, I think they only get a little bit better as time progresses. They don't even get that much better. And, uh, yeah, but sometimes I've, ha I've, seen, I've seen a CPU get an above 250 game one time. Which is pretty bullshit. <laughs> but thankfully I haven't seen any go above that. I haven't seen any any go really above 260 or anything. And uh, until you get to the tournaments, you don't even really need to worry that much about winning or losing. Um, as far as I'm aware. Like, there hasn't been anything in the game so far that's been like, you need to win every single bowling match. So... Yeah, you pretty much only need to win the tournament matches, but when you get to the point where your average needs to be really high anyway, you're pretty much going to be winning if you get that score, so... Yeah. Strike fear into your opponents. <laughs> yeah, for, uh... When I played the B-movie game, I was severely disappointed by the lack of things. There isn't a ton of things you can do with the B button. It's kind of sad. Like, you can do some stuff, but not... not enough things, you know? I feel like the game should have made a really big deal out of the B button. Yeah, we're at 40 hours, and we're, like, halfway through the game. If that. <laughs> we're literally still pretty far from beating the game. To be fair, though, I took a while, I took a pretty long time to get decent enough to the point where I can bowl this well. And even then, that's, like, just this fucking... That's just this fucking pattern, too. 
Like, I'm pretty sure once we get to the... Once we get to pro, they start throwing in just all sorts of different uh, patterns, like oil patterns that you have to deal with. And um, I'm just going to have to figure out what works for each one, which will take a while. have wackier strike animations yeah they definitely dropped the ball <laughs> on the uh on the animations like even when i would bowl back in the day man when i was a youngin which was like you know early 2000s uh back when they were just using some of the shittiest computer animation they still had tons and tons of crazy animations at the bowling alleys, you know, when you'd get anything. Even if you were getting, like, a pin, you'd be like, oh, nice, here's this little funny animation of you of you getting one pin, and it sucks. And it kind of, I don't know, it's pretty funny. I think they definitely dropped the ball on that. Like, there's no, I feel like there's not really any reason why they couldn't have done that besides them purely not wanting to put in the effort. Maybe they just didn't have the funding, I don't know. Nice spare. It's not garbage CGI. Zero out of ten. Severely lacking. That one was super slow. The thing about this game, though, is you can still definitely make, like, granny throws, and if you just know how to line it up right, and you try long enough, you can... You can beat the game. It's just... It takes forever. It just takes a long time. That was lucky. That's good. I think if I, I think just the way I swung back there made that kind of look like that. I wish, I wish it kind of was a little more obvious how hooks work, but the game just, just doesn't tell you, man. Just doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> Yeah, they should definitely make like a bowling, like an open world bowling game where like, it's like GTA, but it like the whole game functions just like GTA, but your character, his main project, his main objective is to become a pro bowler. That'd be pretty great. Like, it's not even a mini-game part of the, uh, of the game. It's just, it's the main part of the game. 
That would be pretty great. And the thing is, like, I bet you they could totally easily make a bowling game like that nowadays. Maybe not easily, but I, they could totally do it. Yo, what's up, Gert? How's it going? Dude, I, it, I think somebody showed me a screenshot that, like, Tekken 7 has bowling. <laughs> I could be wrong. But, yeah. It would be pretty funny if there was an open-world GTA-style bowling game. Like, you could still do most of the stuff you can do in GTA, like, you know, like, jack cars and... And go to strip clubs. I don't know. <laughs> Something. Has bowling been in Tekken for a while? Well, there you go. Now, I'm sure it's just as fun, if not more so. This game just tries to take itself so seriously, but it's like... It could definitely have used a little bit more humor or something. Like, maybe a funny, unlockable character. Like... Like Waluigi. <laughs> or something. Or anything, really. I mean, yeah, like, if they did- if they let you do stuff like have pin skins, like if you had, like, fancy pins, like, of whatever color, or, you know, fancy costume, or whatever. Like, all of the stuff in this game is just pretty straightforward, normal, normal stuff. One day someone will mod the shit out of this game. Tetherball, nice. That, that does sound really fun, actually. Tetherball is surprisingly fun. There's not enough of it on the Wii. I mean, there probably is. I can only think of, like, two games off the top of my head on the Wii that I can play Tetherball in. I'm sure there's a good couple more, but... Strip bowling, right? Leisure, like, there's pro. I bet you there's probably some Leisure Suit Larry bowling game. Probably. That probably exists. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, dude. Yeah, I think making an 18 plus bowling, like, if they made. Like, if they just made some, like, anime. Uh, fan service bowling game. I bet you that'd do pretty well. Bowling games are prime for the upskirts, man. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know why people haven't haven't patented something like that. We just need to figure out what sexy and and, and bowling is in Japanese and just patent that. Patent whatever line of games we would make of that. Best playground game is Gaga. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever played that. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Yo, nice. That was that was hot. Yo, nice Luigi. We found the untapped market. Man, I mean, 
Really, I should be like Thomas Edison and just patent a ton of shit that I'm never gonna make. I think you might actually have to physically invent whatever you do patent. I could be wrong. Maybe not. Actually, I don't think you did. Well, you didn't before, I'm pretty sure. Maybe you'd have to now. But... Yeah. I don't know if patent laws work quite the same way anymore. I imagine not, but I, I also wouldn't be terribly surprised if they do work the same way. <laughs> Yeah, I should definitely, I should definitely do that for a living, just, I'll be like, well, you want to make motorcycle, motorcycle racing alligator, uh, card game, <laughs> video game, well, I, I have that patented, you better buy the rights to that, buddy, because I have the rights to all alligator trading card bowling motorcycle games well I think people have been trying to make like I think part of what came about like why Guitar Hero even came about was there were people who were trying to find different ways to teach people how to like pretty much learn how to play instruments without having to learn how to read sheet music, I guess. As far as I've heard, that's like part of how that came to be was just people making like pretty much just trying to get into the whole like teaching people how to play instruments and stuff through video game like rhythm game stuff. And you can kind of do that, but thing about like playing instruments is playing with like correct technique is pretty important if you want to get to a professional level how's our average looking <laughs> so they're just like we're gonna patent a UFO Let's go. Just in case those aliens come by and they think they can get away with that shit? Nah, boy. You ain't, you ain't allowed to fly that around here. <laughs> yeah, the world's fucking stupid. Fun times had by all. Alright. <laughs> We're like, nah, bro, you can't fly that shit around here. On this planet, we have laws. Destroying our country. <laughs> Who do they think they are? God 
God damn it, I keep getting spares. Well, I mean, you know, it's not like animals give a shit about the law, so... It'd probably be kind of like that. Depending on how intelligent they are, probably. Uh, let's try a little more to the right this time. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get through Intermediate League today. Unless for some reason we struggle for hours on the upcoming tournament after this League night. Dang. Yeah, advanced advanced league is just gonna be fucked. 249 average is just gonna be really annoying to upkeep, so. So we're gonna be resetting a lot once we get to that point. Who knows how far we'll make it today. I'm not gonna be streaming for a really long time today. Cause I have stuff I need to do around like, around like 5.30 or six or something. Man, I am just doing terrible. <laughs> God damn it. You humans are all racist. That's the thing, like, these guys sincerely, the AI pretty much doesn't change how they bowl very much at all. Like, this guy is doing terrible, and... There have been fucking bowlers, like, AI bowlers that I've been playing against since the very beginning of the game that, have, that bowl better than that. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty funny how well they do. And how sometimes bad they do as well. God damn it, man. One thing about this game I've noticed is the game straight up, anytime you get a strike, it just makes that loud uh, sound of you hitting the pins, but anytime you don't, it'll only make like a soft sound of hitting the pins. So you just like, by the time you hear the sound, you already know what's going to happen pretty much. Like, getting a strike specifically has a specific sound that the pins make. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to get a couple strikes here for this to not totally suck.
I mean, you could probably do it. It would probably run terribly, but you could probably do it. You can definitely make a lot of emulators work on a Wii. Yikes. 181. Uh. Uh. I, I didn't mean to do that. Nah. Yeah, this is gonna be a reset for sure. 182. No. Um, memes, basically. Just being all like, yeah, you know, it would be, it'd be kind of funny because a lot of Wii games are pretty easy, but then a lot of them are kind of hard, like, mostly because the motion controls are shit. So I thought it would be kind of funny to try and beat them, beat all of them, but I don't know. I don't have a good reason, really. <laughs> I just like playing all sorts of games anyway. Let's go again. Right. Gotta mod the safety screen. Yeah, hopefully someday people will get more into modding wheat. Wii games. I'm pretty sure the only game I've seen people mod for the Wii. I mean, I guess a couple. I've seen a couple different games modded, but pretty much it's like mostly Mario Kart Wii. Nice. Like, I think people have modded Mario Party 8 maybe once or twice, or also maybe. Mar I don't know about Mario Party 9. I don't even know about Mario Party 8. I know I've seen people make mods of the Mario Par the GameCube Mario Party games. And that's getting a little bit more involved, but I don't know about Wii actually for sure. But yeah, Mario Kart Wii modding has been around for a while. It's kind of neato. Is it safe to say I have record in this category? I mean, I, I don't think so. I'm not really trying to speedrun it, and I spent like six plus hours learning how to play the game to begin with. Like, learning how to just actually throw the ball the way I want. <laughs> learning how the mechanics work and stuff. So I kind of doubt it. I also spent like three weeks not playing the game after <laughs> after the first time I played it. The first or second time, I forget. So, yeah. Are there any Wii games that are two discs? There's... Uh, I don't think there's a ton, if any, like, there's some games that are like collections that have multiple discs, but I don't, I don't think there's many, if any, Wii games that are multiple discs, uh, that aren't like actually different games. There's a couple GameCube games that are two disc games, though, which is kind of neat. I can't really recall, but yeah. 
Like, the next game I'm going to be doing, Brothers in Arms Double Time, is just straight up a collection of two different Brothers in Arms games on two different discs. Um, but they're not, like, the same game, and you don't need to, like, get a certain way through the game and have save data of the other disc to play on the next disc or anything. So. I think the Wii could have benefited from that, though. I think it would have been a good idea. Because there's not really, not really anything wrong with multiple discs being required. Other than maybe making your game seem like, I don't know. Maybe if people were trying to avoid making the game, making their game seem a little primitive, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that, I don't think I've seen that animation at all. So that's cool. Was Resident Evil 2 discs? Well, there you go, Ragey. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I, I've, I didn't know, but uh, yeah, I guess if Res Resident Evil 4 then. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's I don't think there's a ton of games though. Not very many. None that I've played yet. It'll be fun once we get to brawl. I don't know when I'm going to do Brawl, but it's going to be pretty awesome. Brawl is definitely like a really good Wii game. Really solid. At least this at least the single player mode. <laughs> Subspace emissary is fucking sick. And it's a shame they haven't recreated they haven't made another one since. Like, Smash 4 just felt so insanely bare to me. Since it's pretty much just the multiplayer experience. There's, like, some single-player stuff to do, but it's not incredible. Yeah, it's, it's a real shame. It is, it is a shame, cause uh, yeah, the thing is, what like it the the way they followed it up to like, it's a it's really kind of shit, cause uh, yeah, subspace was so good that I, I was to like I didn't buy Smash or anything, but I totally expected them to be like, making another pretty awesome single player mode, and they're just like nah, no single player mode, <laughs> no good single player modes. Yeah, I've heard World of Light also kind of sucks, yeah. I mean, I can, you know, I can kind of get it when you have like a thousand characters in your game. It might be a little hard to prioritize how you'd want to do stuff like that. But, I don't know, Smash 4, I think they could have done it. If they tried hard enough. <laughs> like, Smash 4 just is kind of shit. I mean, it's it's a good fighting game, but that's about it, like... It's mostly a good fighting game because people put in the time to play it. I'm sure there's all sorts of shitty fighting games that could be really interesting and have a good uh, competitive community if they uh, just had enough people playing them. And it's kind of weird, too, considering how much Nintendo just does not care to optimize the competitive, like, the way the game works for competitive stuff all that much. I mean, they kind of do, I guess. But, yeah, with, like, shitty online Wi-Fi, or maybe not Wi-Fi, sorry, uh, shitty online fights, and then, um... And then just being kind of dickheads about people hosting Smash tournaments is, uh, I don't know. 
It's kind of weird that Smash 4 would be a game that they would make because it's like Smash 4 was basically just the multiplayer experience in my opinion. The thing I the one thing the thing about like melee and brawl and stuff I that I enjoy a lot even playing them single player is that the single player modes are fun. <laughs> like adventure mode is fun in melee and Event mode in melee is really fun, and uh, Brawl has some pretty interesting stuff going on with it. Like, again, Subspace Emissary is probably one of the coolest Smash modes there was. And yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. It, it just make it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they would make a game like Smash 4 as well when they're just like nah dude we don't want it we don't want the competitive scene to thrive fuck that shit bruh or at least we want it to thrive but we want to make like 90% of the money or all of the money you know <laughs> The coin thing and <laughs> the coin thing in melee is pretty fun. I uh I haven't played Brawl enough to mess around with all of the uh all the fun stuff on that, but I I think I did mess around with the coin launcher once or twice, and I thought that was kind of neat. <laughs> yeah the smash games just had some really fucking good songs they uh they had a really good collection of decent songs Yeah, Brawl's just crazy good. It's it's just it's a solid Wii game for sure. It's pretty good. Compared to like all of the other Wii games. I like most of the other Wii games anyway. Brawl is really, really solid. Yeah, I mean, and not even everybody hates Brawl competitively, it's just that, like, a lot of people don't like it, uh, as much. But I know people that, um, I know people that, uh, are pretty good at Brawl. Like, people that are, like, you know, there's people that are still, like, top players in Brawl to this day. And those are... There's still some pretty good players. And they're not even all Meta Knight players. <laughs> What's up, Zelsina? I've, has anybody completed all the challenges? I don't know if you're just asking people here. Um, or if you're just asking in general. I know there's people that have done speedruns of all events, which takes like 40 hours. <laughs> it's pretty fucking intense. Or maybe not all events, it might have been all achievements or something. One of the two. All events might not be as long as I'm thinking. But there is some crazy, like, 40-hour category for Brawl. <laughs> Dang it.
Okay. Um, let's get some more strikes going here. <laughs> oh, that one I hooked a lot by accident. Dang. See, what they should do is put Brunswick Pro Bowling music on on Smash. That's one thing they're missing. The Brunswick Pro Bowler. You guys just wait. They're gonna they're gonna put it on. They're gonna put it on the fucking ultimate game, I swear to god, Brunswick's gonna be on there. <laughs> gonna happen. just throw like honestly it would be I think a bowling character in Smash would be cool I don't think there's really any iconic bowling characters at all that you could put on there besides maybe like making another class of me characters but that would be kind of great <laughs> Brunswick they could just put the actual Wii game as a character Instead of, instead of like, the character from Brunswick Pro Bowling, it would just be the f the Wii game would be the character. Like disc case and all. Matt from the Wii series, dude. Matt would be an incredible. Matt would be an incredible addition, dude. I'm not even joking. Matt would actually be a really decent idea for Smash. They really should have. They really should have considered that. If if they if they consider anything, Matt would be a great addition, man. He is the boxing master. <laughs> this is gonna be a reset, I think. What would be the move set? Oh man, rip. <clears throat> yeah, it would be pretty great if they made me bowler. I think, I think, like... <laughs> Disregarding bowling entirely, I think Matt would be a pretty great me character to add, though. If he could just do all of the sports stuff, it's just that like his boxing would be the most powerful. That would have to be like his final smash or something, or at least part of his main move set would be punching the shit out of you. Because he's like kind of shit in some other sports. Like I think he's really shit in tennis or whatever. But, you know, he could just pull out a tennis racket and whack them once or twice, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff you could do with it. <laughs> they probably should have just made the me character a me sports character or something, or we sports character instead. That would have been, I think that would have been kind of cool. Nice. Oh, is he already an ultimate? That's pretty awesome. If he's if he is an ultimate, if he's like a default me character, I think that would be fine. But dang it. Oh, okay, I see. Well, if he could be a fighting character, that's what that's what I'm talking about. He would just destroy. He would be way too OP, probably. They'd be like, Matt is too powerful to put in the game. He would destroy everything. All the tournaments would just be Matt versus Matt. There would be like all the regular tiers and then there's Matt tier.
Dang it. They let Sans in. They let a they have a lot of those me costumes that are pretty cool. Like they have Cuphead and the Vault Boy and all sorts of stuff. And I think those are pretty cool. Sort of just paying homage to popular other characters that would be kind of cool in Smash, but they're just never going to put in, so here's a costume. God damn it, dude. I think the best thing about Sans coming to Smash was Joel's reaction to this, uh, <laughs> to the Sans costume. That was pretty good. <laughs> you know what we need to make? Hookah bars slash bowling alleys. This works. I don't think it will. <clears throat> that was a little too far to the right. You can already drunk bowl. I guess that's true. Like the thing about it is, is like, think about like hookah bars and any kind of smoking indoors kind of things is like the smoking indoors part. <laughs> You could probably do it in Vegas. You could probably like smoke anything at a casino. There's probably some casino bowling alley places where you could smoke, right? Probably. I'd imagine so. There's gotta be. I bet you there's some where there's like a slot machine right like, there's a slot machine built into the ball return. <laughs> that would be fucking sick. That's something I should patent. I, I... That would be per- I bet you it's already been pat patented, like, a thousand years ago, but yeah. That would be pretty incredible. <laughs> that would be so... Entirely Vegas. That would be fucking great. <laughs> go with our go to bowling alleys with Wiimotes <laughs> be pretty great just to make like an iron like uh, purposefully super cringy video just like making doing some CGI bowling but like we bring our Wiimotes to bowling alleys and just do swings in front of a camera a bunch, and then CGI bowling balls in later. <laughs> we bowling in real life. That would that would be good. That'd be 
That'd be something for the books. <laughs> yeah, that would be a kind of interest. That could be an interesting like slot machine idea or something. There's, I mean, the thing about like. There's a lot of slot machines that are just straight up huge ass money grabbers because they're just super shit odds and payouts sh shitty anyway. But they're like those branded ones, the ones with like t like TV shows and shit. Yeah, this is terrible, man. Uh, I mean, if I get another strike though. I could maybe pull it back, at least. If it's like 190, I'll take this, but. Nice. I don't even know if it can 190 from this. I don't actually think so. Uh, especially if I do that. Oh, damn it. Man, I suck today. 193, let's go. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it sounds like, I, I was gonna say it, I didn't really, I didn't say it out loud, but I was, I was gonna say, it sounds like some type of really stupid fucking YouTube video that would be made, like, when YouTube started becoming a thing. They're just like, we bowling in real life, lol. I don't know. That'd be pretty great. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if they, they kind of, they do, in a lot of places in Vegas, they like to put in random, oh, for a second I thought that was like a button prompt on the screen, there was just some bowling ball that was thrown just at the right time there, that was weird. Anyway, um, I mean, like, in Vegas and a lot of places in Nevada, you can just find slot machines everywhere, like, you go into a 7-Eleven, and there's a slot machine, you know, or, or a couple slot machines. You just go anywhere and there's slot machines. So I think, like, incorporating it into objects, though, like a bowling ball return thing, I think that would be pretty fucking hilarious. It would probably be kind of impractical and expensive, but I think that would be funny as shit. Like, that would be one of the most ridiculous things to just ever be invented. Dang it. Wow, that was still a strike. Let's go. Nice. Like a lot of places you, like have stuff like video poker and other things just built in to counters and stuff. Like it, you really it really is like definitely something people have thought of. I just I just think it would be funny. Like it would be pretty great trying to integrate it into just the most fucking obscure things. Like just the weirdest things to make whatever slash a uh, slot machine or whatever like you could have like a vending machine slash slot machine if i'm not sure if that's a thing already it'd be like see if you can get this fucking pack of smokes for free on the vending machine slot machine Maybe even make a couple bucks. <laughs> Paper towel dispenser slash slot machine. <laughs> you're like, ah, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you take a piss, you go and wash your hands. And you're like, ah, you know, I'm not, I'm not above playing a slot machine in a bathroom. <laughs> that would be pretty great. Oh, 
That would be hilarious. The thing about that is, like, they definitely want to have cameras on things like that, so... I don't think you could make a bathroom gambling device, but maybe. You'd have to have some strict rules going on there, probably. Some strict regulations. <laughs> Shit. Dang it. I like those carnival games. <laughs> that would be pretty great. Just like, okay guys, we have the regular bathroom, and then we have the bathroom of Carnival Delights. Where you can pay one dollar to go pee like a champion. Maybe win a teddy bear or something. One dollar. Yeah, that would be a good... That'd be a good facility to run. So what's your company's name, sir? You that you wanna pat- you wanna make, uh, you wanna register? Uh, Bathroom Games Incorporated. Bathroom fun time. Ink. <laughs> That's what Sharpies are for. <laughs> Nobody will piss on the seat again if we pay them. One out of ten people who don't piss on their seat gets a free McDonald's cheeseburger at the local casino McDonald's. Just send us a video of you peeing. Vegas would Vegas Vegas would be a it's just a money making town. You could do could do everything and anything there. There's limitless potential. Party urinal games. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have video proof, or your run will not be accepted. <laughs> Dang. And then somebody cheats, and then we have to do like a dream level investigation into how they got their one in... 10 trillion uh, odds of getting the perfect P score RNG. <laughs> you may not use any third party controllers. <laughs> Co op runs are accepted. <laughs> oh god. Dang it. That's our score, 186. Ah, yeah, we're gonna have to... Getting a strike there would've been really nice. Or at least not getting a really annoying uh, spare. Dang it. 195, I'll take it. So I think, I forget, is this the last game of the League Night? I think it is. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, uh, 
For real though, there's so many, so many good ideas. Our average is still 222 after that. That's pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. Your reputation has earned you an, inv an invitation to this tournament. Receiving an invitation means that the tournament will waive your entrance fee. Don't waste this opportunity. Oh, I won't, because I'm safe scumming. So, doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. Alright, well, let's kick ass in this tournament and then hate life once we get to advanced league. Because, yeah... Advanced League, we're gonna have to start bowling like 250 every game, so it's just gonna be reset city. Oh, skull pattern, so this is a different pattern. I think I've bowled this pattern before though. The thing about it is, is I'm pretty sure I can just use the same, pretty much the same throws anyway. Wow, that was really lucky. I'm gonna go a little bit more to the left. Try that. Nice. How does reputation work? So if you... I think if you bowl above the average that they want you to have, you can gain reputation through that. Um, and that includes if you're doing that in uh, practice games or not. If you beat the other bowler as well i think you typically get a little bit to your reputation depending on how much you beat them by and then yeah reputation just lets you i guess get uh there's like tournaments that have a requirement like a uh well tournaments and leagues have a requirement for like your reputation to be a certain amount and um the way that you lose reputation is if you i think pretty much if you just bowl too much under the score the average score they want you to have then you'll end up losing some points but my reputation is ridiculously high that it would take losing a lot of it would i would have to lose so much reputation to have to worry about it because my reputation is at like it's at like 300 something i think if not more by now so um yeah, and I'm pretty sure, as far as I'm aware, the tournaments, like, even the pro tournaments only require, like, 90 reputation or something, so. You can also increase your reputation by wearing fancier clothing and, well, wearing, like, certain clothing that just increases your stat, basically. So. Yeah, this game, <clears throat> this game, you know, it definitely, it's tough, and there's no difficulty setting or anything, so you just have to be really good. Nice. Yeah, this game is pretty fucked. You have to just be super good. <laughs> And I'm save scumming, so like if I didn't save scum, I, I it would be even more ridiculous. It would be pretty stupid. <laughs> It'd be pretty rough. Uh, dang it. Right? <laughs> My sunglasses are too... Too cool for the whole this whole crowd. All these squares around here not wearing sunglasses. But yeah, luckily, um, besides the different oil patterns in pro dif in the pro league, the you know pretty much as soon as we get to advanced league, that's as hard as the game really gets. Because bowling the 249 average and bowling the 250 average is gonna be like exactly the same, so it'll just be tons and tons of. 
trying to get a bunch of strikes and then being disappointed because we didn't. <laughs> And we're gonna have to figure out throws that work for later oil patterns if they if they do get any more complicated like for pretty much every single oil pattern i've been using sort of the same throws anyway but because even if i have an oil pattern that i have bowled on many times before i feel like it still isn't even the most consistent anyway so yeah this guy's bowling pretty well though See, and the thing is, again, they just, they're pretty much, ran it, it's pretty much random how well these characters bowl. Because even when you get to the pro leagues, they'll still sometimes score under 200. <laughs> so, it's, I don't know. It's pretty funny. Um... Man, it's, I, I'm just, I'm bowling like shit. We need some strikes up in here, man. Oil patterns. So in bowling, they oil up the alley so that... I'm not sure exactly why they do it, but partly it lets your ball hook in different ways. And pretty much, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly the reason why they do it, but... Um, but there's all sorts of oil patterns that... I mean, there's there's pretty much limitless amounts of oil patterns, technically. Like, I I went and looked on Brunswick's... Uh, or I think, not Brunswick, the uh, there's like a professional bowling... There is a professional bowling association website. And they have like a list of like professional pattern oil patterns that are all just i don't know to me they all kind of seem pretty similar but i don't know i'd be hard pressed to f to find out what the difference is myself between all of them but let's see how well this guy does see if he wins he's probably gonna win <laughs> He'd have to miss like everything here. So I'm gonna have to reset this match probably. Yeah. Dang. Doc Ock. <laughs> What's up, Jacob? Hope you're well. Yeah, I think a few people have said that. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, it's both. It's long, and you have to bowl really well. I mean, I don't know if I'd say it's necessarily super hard. Like, once you know how to do strikes on whatever pattern you're trying to get, and since you can save scum, it's not that bad, but it is super long. It's a ridiculously long game. Even if you played perfectly, like, the whole time, it would take a really long fucking time to beat the game. <laughs> Part of why it's taken a long time is also because I just had to take some time to learn how to play the game in the first place, because there's, like, zero tutorials or anything in the game. You just... You just bowl and figure out how it works. And it's not the most intuitive. was too far to the left. Just a little bit, I think. Just a little bit. Yeah, there's a manual. It doesn't explain much more at all, though.
Man. Fucking damn it, dude. I hate when I accidentally press B and do that. It just fucks everything up. Ugh. Now it's... Uh, this is probably gonna be a reset. That's annoying. I'm just gonna reset this. Bowling term. <laughs> Bowling invented the term. Perfect game. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Hooked a bit. Dang. God damn it, dude. Ugh. Fucking awful. Not even gonna hit it, nice. Okay. Yeah, dude. It's fun to get into for sure, I'd say. Depends on, like, what you're looking to do. For sure. I think streaming's been a lot of fun, though. I've enjoyed it a lot. Really just kind of depends on what you put into it. Let's go. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of it takes a little bit of time to set up stream stuff, but overall I'd say that's probably one of the hardest parts is just setting it up and then figuring out what kind of settings you want. And you can kind of figure that stuff out over time. For sure. Or if you have someone that can help you, that's really nice. Like having someone that can help you set up a stream so it looks nice and everything. But Man, this guy's just doing super well. This is annoying. God damn it, dude. <laughs> uh. And I somehow threw that too far to the right. Okay. Man. Done fucked everything up. Hopefully we can get some more strikes going. Dang it. Ah, uh, score is shit. Well, if I beat this guy still, I'll keep it, but I doubt. Yeah, I was going to say, I doubt we're going to beat him because he's probably just going to get like a thousand strikes here. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Pretty sure that is Dunzo. <laughs> Just, you know, five strikes in a row, whatever, fuck it. Who cares? It's all good. The six pack pin. Yeah, I, I sadly am not good at making emotes or anything. If anybody made me emotes, I'd be happy to put them up, but yeah. I uh, haven't been interested in commissioning any emotes in a while or anything. never going to finish this tournament, I guess.
Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'll use them if uh, if you do, but I appreciate it either way. I uh, yeah, try not to try not to ask people or anything to make me anything for free, but um, if people do make me stuff, I'm happy to look into using it anyway. <laughs> As long as, um, as long as it's not too inappropriate or whatever. Uh, let's try. Nice. Damn it, that one hooked a lot. Dang it, man. <laughs> we're just, we're so screwed because we just did not fucking manage to get a good couple of strikes in a row here. One's from iCarly. <laughs> I appreciate the offer for sure. This guy has not bowled a sink. I love it, dude. They're just like, I'm just gonna bowl 70 fucking strikes in a row. Have fun competing against that, dickhead. God, this game, dude. <laughs> uh. If I miss this, I'm just gonna probably reset this. Well, let's see, where's my score at right now? 95? I don't know. I'll continue it still, but it's just, it's fucking shit. Just super fucking garbage. Yeah, man, it's... this is just fucking dead. If this doesn't strike, I'm just gonna reset. Okay. Cause we have to get a we have to get some strikes in a row now. This guy's just bowling too well. Just getting seventy fucking strikes with like no effort. Like God, it's so dumb, dude. These guys have been bowling like consistently like two forty fucking games or so. Every time I've tried to start up this tournament, it's just like, we're just gonna bowl and miss like one or two strikes the entire game. <laughs> Intermediate league. Yeah, this is totally dead. No point in trying. Okay.
I don't know. Let's try and win this shit. God damn it. We can do it. We just have to believe and hope the other guy starts sucking. Good start. Oh my god, dude, this game is so fun. Get wrecked, bots. <laughs> uh, this game is just absolutely garbage. Guess this guy is gonna get like another ten thousand fucking strikes. Just hard guess here. So what was that? Five strikes in a row. Nice. Intermediate League. Nothing like Intermediate League where the computers miss no pins at all. <laughs> they just occasionally get, you know, a spare now and then. That's the worst they fucking do. Game is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. And now this is dead.
<clears throat> God, it's just insane how fucking dumb this game is. It really is. It's just like, yeah, let's just make the AI, like, perfect. You know, make them all bowl like a bunch of fucking pros already, even though you're on the second league out of four. Game is fucking garbage. Absolute garbage, man. Oh, you're not bowling eight fucking strikes in a row every single game you do? Well, good luck beating the first guy in Intermediate League Tournament. So garbage, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Ugh. Great video game. Did we do it? We won, yay! By four points. <laughs> oh my god, dude, fuck this video game. Ugh. I got a text. Serious crash on northbound I-15 prior to 90th South. I'm not going anywhere near there. I'm just resetting this. All right, let's go. Try this one. Hopefully we do better this time.
God damn it, dude. <laughs> I am just so fucked with this game. Well, at least he didn't start off the game with five fucking strikes in a row. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Uh, pretty much every game I've done so far in the tournament has been shite. Pretty awful. <laughs> It's mostly just because I keep getting fucking spare after spare after spare. I just keep having one fucking pin left over for so many shots. And that just fucks the score entirely. <clears throat> it's like, if I could reliably get hook like that and throw it like that, then that would be nice, but it's just... Yeah. This game's... The way the game makes hooking work just super annoying and fucking not intuitive whatsoever. Nor do they even bother telling you how to do it. Okay.
that one hooked a bit. At least that got a strike. Let me guess. Two strikes. Just wild fucking guess. Hey, I was wrong. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I cannot fucking bowl worth shit right now, I guess. that look like they're doing absolutely nothing but then just get a strike anyway. I think it just somehow physically works out to be a strike. Just absolute miracle status strikes. That's how like 90% of the computer strikes are. It's just like, yep, somehow... Some way that got a strike. Very nice. That was, yeah, a little far to the left. match was tough as shit. That guy just kept rolling like a billion goddamn strikes. Did it, read it. Alright, so that's I think two out of I think usually the tournaments have like five matches or something, so we've done two so far. Okay.
Nice. Very nice. Can't hear me? Sorry, I might not be talking super loud the whole time. Sometimes I'm just talking, kind of just saying very nice and shit like that. Sorry, I'm not talking super loud all the time. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Accidentally let go be like super early there nice That's the thing you can totally still granny throw it. It's just dumb And way less can I think it's a little bit less consistent than at least throwing it with some power I have no idea what the last game will be Yo, what's up, Super Swirl? Hope you're well today. Good to see you. Wow, she missed. <clears throat> nice. Let's go, man. Dang it. That was pretty good, though. Good start. Are there any Dynasty Warrior games? I think there is. I forget if there's a Dynasty Warriors game. I think there might be. I can't recall, really. God damn this lady in her MAGA hat. We're gonna defeat this MAGA bowling person. <laughs> Dude, she just is, she's bowling like a MAGA person. She's like, ah, I'm too fatigued from Storming the capital. <laughs> I'm too fatigued from getting shot trying to break into... Break into the chamber of... Co you know, fucking... Uh, the capital building, man. That one was a little bit too far. Just a little bit. <laughs> just just a little bit <laughs> she's already banned on Twitter really lucky Wow nice See we're gonna need to bowl this well every game basically 
like almost every single game from after this tournament on onwards. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be so ridiculous. Six pack. 279. That's definitely my high score by far. My last high score was what, 266? 279 is, yeah, the highest I've bowled yet. See if she can somehow pull back. Get it over a 179 here. Nope. Wow. I got almost twice the score she did. I had one missed strike. Wow. That actually was a really well done game. I didn't even realize that I bowled 11 strikes that game. Nice. Eleven out of twelve strikes, and one of them was a spare that missed one pin. I almost bowled perfectly. Almost. Almost. Okay, so it is, I think it is five matches per tournament. Is the Samurai Warriors a spinoff of that? Okay. Yeah, there is Samurai... There are, I think there is the Samurai Warriors games, and those are pretty neat looking. Oh, mail might be here one second. I need to go get that. He come down. Sorry about that. I'm expecting I'm expecting red steel 2 in the mail sometime soon. Hooked a bit. All right.
Okay. Nice, nice. Let's go. Very nice. Let's go. Yeah, I forget um, if Samurai Warriors... I think there's... If it, if I can't remember if that's like a Neo Geo collection, basically, on the Wii. Like, there's a bunch of Samurai Warriors games that are on the Wii, or on Neo Geo, that are all just on, like, a pack for the Wii. Like, Samurai Sh Warrior Showdown or some shit. And it is just straight up the Neo Geo games. And that'll be pretty interesting to check out. There's a good couple of games that are like arcade or uh, Neo Geo collections that are pretty interesting looking. Like, uh, the Metal Slug Anthology should be pretty fun and difficult. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna play that game, but hopefully... Hopefully someday. It looks pretty fun. Like, the Anthology looks fun. Man, this guy's bowling really well. Nice, nice. Let's go. Fuck, I don't know. Hopefully this is good. Oh, that one hooked a lot. Uh, yeah. I'll have to see how well this guy bowls. Yeah, probably not. I imagine it won't take nearly as long. This game will probably be one of the longest games I've played through. I don't know if it will be the longest for sure, but it'll it'll probably get close to... Like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if we got into the... Like, at least 80 hours... Because Pro League takes a while, if I if I recall correctly. It takes quite a while. Well, I mean, it, if you are bowling at the average you need, it even if you're even if you're playing just as well as you need to, the amount of tournaments you have to do is pretty rough. Like there's like 16 or 18 tournaments. There's a lot of tournaments. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Wait, what's his name? Bucklin. Bucklin. His last name is Bucklin, okay. Bucklin. Alright, final match of the tournament. Let's go. Let's kick Intermediate League's ass. Nice. Let's go, dude. Very nice. Let's go. Oh god, she also has a MAGA hat. 
She's a good MAGA bowler, though. Damn it. Nice, very, very lucky. I like how wearing a red hat has basically become synonymous with becoming a with being a Trump supporter though. I think that's pretty hilarious. Like I wonder how long it'll be before people stop thinking that way. I think it's funny as fuck, but I <laughs> I think it'll just be kind of one of those things like wearing like wearing all red or something or all blue in some place. It's just like Just connotations to wearing just something really stupid. Yo, sick. She's kicking ass, man. Let's go. Hog. Six pack. Casual six pack. Dang it. Very nice start though. Very nice. Oof, that's rough. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay. Dang it, man. That sucks. All the spares at the end here, man. I uh, hope that doesn't wreck my day. Nice. Okay. 245, sweet. Alrighty. That is the Intermediate League, it looks like. So, fun, fun. 
I, like, maybe if she gets three strikes in a row here, she could maybe win? I don't know. Maybe. I think maybe barely not, but let's see. Let us see. I've placed first, let's go! 10 points better than her. Yeah, she definitely had to get a strike there to win, I think. Nice. Congratulations, your accuracy has increased to 70. Your hook control has increased to 70. Your reputation has increased by 10. You got first and won $5,000. You've unlocked Paris, France. This level is now available in quick play mode. Yay. Intermediate league done. Let's go. Congratulations, you qualified for the next league. You're being enrolled immediately. Welcome to Advanced League. Minimum average required to stay in the league and not get kicked back to t intermediate is 210. And uh, minimum uh, reputation of 40. Uh, and then, yeah, minimum average required to move on to the next league. To go on to Pro League, you need 249. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, I think 320 is like the highest your reputation can even be. Mine's been sitting at 320 for a long time, so there's like no way I can... There's like no way I'm ever going to lose uh, enough of the... Uh, enough um, reputation to like... It, it would take so much for me to lose all that. It really would. <laughs> this isn't the last league. No, yeah, as I... Uh, I don't know if you heard me earlier. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, advanced is the second to last one. Although they're pretty much like the same difficulty because I pretty much need... I Like, Pro League's average is 250 that I need to keep. So it's basically the same, I think. Pretty much. I don't know, but we'll see how it all plays out. It's going to be a lot more resets though, for sure. Very likely anyway, like unless I'm just super lucky and I manage to get Tons of strikes on like every game I play from now on. <laughs> nice. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Nice. Hopefully we can get a couple of matches done though. I'll have to be going here not too long from now because I... Because uh, it's my brother's birthday, so. Dang it. So we're gonna, at some point here, not too long from now, have to end the stream. Not terribly long from now, because I'm getting some Popeyes. And I definitely have to be in on that shit. Fuck KFC. What's up, GQ? Yeah. I'm not all that much for KFC myself, but... 
Yeah. I definitely like Popeyes a lot more. Well, if we can keep up the strikes, we can definitely get above 249, even with one spare. we can anymore. <laughs> I don't know if two spares will even let us do that, especially with how we spaced them apart. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Pretty sure this just let's see. Two more, four more. Yeah, I don't even think that's possible. So well, I don't know. We're just gonna reset. Doesn't matter. We're resetting. That most likely was not gonna be a two forty nine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to get going here in just a moment. I think food is here. Oof, that's a rough hook. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's meaning like the actual spicy chicken, like it Popeyes. I bet you somebody's gonna fucking try and ask me something. All right, one one more attempt here at this match, and then uh, yeah, I'll have to get going. Sorry again for the short stream. I'll hopefully. I don't know, I might be streaming later tonight after this. I don't know. After I eat. After I chill for a bit. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think the spicy chicken at Popeyes is too spicy, but I think it's good. Insane strike there. <laughs> I mean, no, that's for sure. I uh, I don't mind doing a short stream. It's progress is progress, and yeah, it's better that I knock out some progress than none. We can still make a 249 with this, but it's just, uh... Fuck this, man.
Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get going for now. Um, hopefully, I'll be back later tonight. Yeah, I just... Uh, there's some dinner going on for my brother's birthday, so I'm going to go and do that stuff and hang out with him for a bit. And then, yeah, we'll hopefully be back at this later tonight, if not tomorrow. So... And then we can, yep, work on getting the 249s. Or at least getting a couple so I don't have to get one every single game. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Sorry for the shorter stream. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you all very soon. Appreciate you all chilling. And yeah. Overview. Nice, nice. Cool, cool. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.